everyone. Welcome to your weekly reading. This is Lauren with the Clarity Cure. Welcome back. This is for the week of March 2nd through the 8th of 2020. Um, thank you for all your support here on my channel. And as you guys know, um, I will continue to focus on you guys, my subscribers, when bringing forth messages. If you're new, hit that bell icon and become a my tribe, part of my tribe here on YouTube because I focus on you guys first and foremost. And trust me, there are people out there that need to get a message. They're having a hard time. Uh, so best way to resonate, get connected with me on an energetic level is to subscribe and hit that bell icon as well. Because YouTube, I don't know, they're making so many changes I can't keep up. Uh, I don't think my videos get the reach that they used to. So let me know too as well. I'm doing these timeless a mini tarot readers over on the gram. If you don't follow me over there, make sure that you hit me up over there. Um, and I was thinking maybe about doing something like that here on YouTube. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Let me know what you'd like to see. Maybe some general readings. I'm doing the 12, who's my future partner, which I'll probably always do for my single love, you know, relationship people out there. Um, I can do general readings. Let me know what you'd like to see. I could do readings by the element as well. Uh, would love your opinions. Let me know. Okay, so we're going to jump in here. Um, interesting reading. Interesting reading. Okay. Oof, got some major arcana here. You have the emperor as your overall energy. You have the higher font as far as this is your future self. Um, I feel like some of you are going to be spiritually lifted here. I mean, there's so many different messages coming in. I'm blown away. However, I also feel that even though there's a spiritual element um, and God gracing you this week, I also feel that this is a time for you to take action and play your cards right, baby. I just, I just feel like one hand's going to wash the other this week for you, okay? And you cannot close yourself off. So if you've been feeling like, Ugh, I can't make this decision, I don't know what I want, I'm feeling like closed off, I'm feeling blocked, you've got to rip this blindfold off, okay? Um, this is your biggest um, obstacle for the week, all right? Uh, very Libran energy, you're maybe perhaps putting off making a decision, you got to get out there and mingle. You got to get out there and play, play, play your, play your cards right. Um, but in a loving way, you know, this is like a really, the energy is like, ugh, you know, really tough. But look at your two Oracle cards. They're pink and soft and pretty. It's like, open your heart, open your heart this week. Uh, maybe a cancer is significant uh, this week in your life that could be here to help you, guide you. Okay, um, a Taurus as well, or an Aries. This is like tough. I feel like this is tough love, but I also feel that you need to get to the nitty gritty. You need to, okay, your advice is the Queen of Swords. I know I'm kind of jumping all over here, but we'll, we'll get it all together, okay? So the Queen of Swords is somebody that's devoid of emotion. Um, she's independent in her thoughts and her, in her judgment. She's upfront, baby. You're going to have to be upfront and honest. Okay. And this is what's going on in your mind. These are the element of air. So again, taking action for the change, uh, becoming the power, the force behind what it is you need to change in your life, being courage, uh, feeling courageous or getting courageous, right? The, the, the air signs represent our thoughts, beliefs, and our attitudes. So there's something you need to shift your attitude about here, okay, and make some kind of decision to move forward. Now, ironically, I feel there's people here to help you, but ultimately, you're going to have to make your own decision, and you're going to have to go inside. Your final outcome for the week card, that is for the week, is the High Priestess, and there's your Cancer, okay? There's your Cancer card, okay? Um, she also represents the moon. All right. So just to give you a little background, the high priestess is the empress in the spirit world. Okay. She is not here of the flesh. So this kind of energy can be really super mysterious. Maybe you have an epiphany. 
Um, maybe you, you know, in meditation, you get a really incredible message about what you need to do here. Uh, maybe you speak um, to somebody that could be significant to you in a way that gives you spiritual advice, business advice, spiritual advice, you know, lining out the facts and figures, what you're going to do. You're going to have to do it. I don't know why you feel blocked or closed off, but you know what? You're going to have to go inside for the answers, this choice or this decision. Okay. This is what they're saying. You need, you need more info. Okay. So this is going to be a week of gathering information, you know, pull, pull your favors. Okay. Do what you need to do. Go on the internet, call your friends, call somebody you look up to, call a father. Okay. Call a spiritual advisor to give you the advice that you need to make this, this decision that you're stuck because you don't want to stay stuck. You need to take action. Okay. Cause the emperor, that's what, what the emperor is all about here, right? Another cancer and cancerian influence here as well. Yes. It's my Aries card, but there's also a lot of cancer energy here too. This is about this is going to be a week of getting grounded, okay, becoming your own authority figure, taking control of your life, stepping up to the plate, okay, um, carving out this brand new path for yourself because it's like you're, you're, it's almost as if you're in the need of doing your own thing as well. So this, this making of this new decision is going to put you on this brand new path. It could be a choice, a choice between two jobs or which direction to move into your future because you, your recent past is the page of wands and this is that creative new beginning, you staking your claim, being young at heart, feeling fresh, moving down a brand new path and you're like, yeah, baby, this, you know, this is where I'm going but I also feel like not this is immature energy but this is, this is, I feel like this is somebody that needs help. This is some of that also needs bigger, better advice here. Okay. Cause you get the page of wands in your past. So like I said, moving forward, feeling like, you know, the, this free spirited fool, even like, you know, the, the, the page of wands always reminds me of the fool card. So you're stepping out on this brand new path and you're feeling really good in your current position. You have the page of cups. So, you know, things are starting to come together for you, right? You're moving forward, you're shifting, you're changing, or this could be now a brand new opportunity. Like you started something new and now boom, you have this new opportunity bubbling up. So now you have a decision to make, okay, am I going to leave the job I just started? Or am I going to leave this relationship I just started for something new? Okay. So this is pretty powerful. Um, I think it's going to turn you on your head a little bit here because it, it's going to be tough for you to make this call, but you're going to have to you're going to have to get down, um, to the root, to the root of it, right? You're going to have to weigh everything out, um, and cut away what doesn't serve you and what, you know, the core issues, you know, make a list, you know, pros and cons, um, speak to a spiritual advisor as well. You know, with the higher font here, I know this is your future you, okay. Maybe some of you want to make a commitment here. I know this sounds kind of strange, but I'm hearing this for some of you that you're moving forward in committing to a spiritual practice. You know, you could have a huge spiritual awakening here this week with the high priestess here as well as your outcome. There's some huge openings. There's some huge significance here that goes beyond, you know, the material world. So, this is good advice, breaking the norm, unlocking some kind of new DNA in your life, committing to a spiritual practice, moving up the food chain too, you know? I mean, if this is, um, you know, if this is about a job, it's, boo, baby, you know, this is making more money. It could be a promotion, but I also feel like you have a new opportunity in a position where you, you could be making the bucks here, you know, um, God is definitely giving you a blessing here. Definitely not a warning. This is something that's uber positive. You're dealing with something official. That's for sure. So you're gonna have to weigh out your pros and cons about this decision that you don't want to make that maybe, you know, look, you're going to have to adapt 
you know, uh, to doing things in a whole new way. And maybe that could be what's rubbing you the wrong way. You know, maybe you're moving from a creative position to something that is more emotionally aligned to what you love to do. Maybe it could even be spiritually or, and you're just like, uh, but if I go work for this company, eek, you know, um, I got to clock in nine to five, you know, like maybe you, you have your own business or you, uh, are, are more of the creative type where maybe you work from home. A lot of people work from home now, you know, but you're like, okay, so I can make X more amount of money, but now I gotta, uh, I gotta eek, do what's expected of me and follow social norms and structures, you know, conforming to the rules. Um, I don't see that you're going to have an issue with it, but I definitely feel like, again, you're weighing out all the pros and cons, and that's what you need to do. But I want you to open your heart here as well with the Cancer card. This is somebody, and it feels very motherly as well. Um, this could be even your mother on the other side if she's passed away or a mother figure to you that's coming through, that's trying to give you messages. So pay attention to any flashes of insight, <clears throat> excuse me, any dreams, messages that might be coming through through prayer, meditation, um, because this shift is coming and you got to follow your gut instinct. Okay. You need to make this decision yourself. This is going to be the challenge this week. I think you're going to get all your ducks in a row. That's what you need to do. That's what they're saying. Um, and it's going to pan out. Ultimately, you're going to be the final decision maker here. And I think you're going to know which direction to go because you're going to receive this incredible insight. Okay. So, what do we got here? So what else did I miss? Knight of Pentacles. <coughs> All right. So influences. Okay. You got the Knight of Pentacles. So let me show this to you. Influences. <coughs> Excuse me. You got a tickle. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So the influence is, okay. This could be stubborn energy. You know, Knight of Pentacles, you know, Knights represent the speed of a situation. Um, and this is, you know, following that routine to start to finish to make the decision. Okay. Um, this could be a earth sign person that is relevant in your life as well. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn coming in to offer you this position, this other opportunity, <coughs> as I mentioned earlier, sorry guys, <clears throat> still getting over this cold that I had. Well, I got over the cold and then I had this major allergy attack um, last week. So throat's a little dry and I'm still clearing up this cough. So I, um, I apologize, but you know, you got to assume responsibility here and take charge of your situation. Okay. Cause you're, you're, you just need to do it guys. All right. So this is this new offer or opportunity coming in. Maybe you have to make a choice, like I mentioned earlier, and it's, you know, it's just a tough, tough call here. Okay. There's, there's something that's going to make you feel tied up about your situation right now and where you're at, you know? Um, so do what you need to do. Don't procrastinate, take action, pull off that blindfold. Okay. And don't resist. Okay. Be open, face what it is you need to deal um, with, or what's right there in front of you, and you're going to make the right decision here. Let's see what's under the, I was going to do some clarifying, which we could maybe do here. Emperor, what's underneath here? Four of Wands, okay, wow. Um, this is an unexpected surprise. Wow, the Lover's card, so there is some choice, major choice or decision that you made moving up to the situation. Maybe you had a choice or decision, two jobs before, and now you're like, oh my God, they're coming back. I started this new job. This could even be about a relationship. Okay. As well. Could be a relationship coming back around again. I mean, look, we're in Mercury retrograde. I'm hearing it from all my clients. Like, Oh my God, you're never going to believe this. You know, so that energy is very possible here. Um, but the four of wands is being the change. And I feel like whatever decisions you have made leading up to this point have been super uber positive. I mean, amazing love, relationships, commitment, marriage, 
husband. Okay. So, whoa, baby. I mean, definitely some of you, this is relationship driven. Wow. Maybe you made a decision to leave a career, you know, with the nine of wands here. Um, I mean, nine of pentacles. Um, and you got married and maybe you're trying to decide if you want to go back to work. Um, it could be that simple. Okay. And you know, um, only you can make the decision works. Well, what works best for you in your personal situation. Okay. So definitely some relationship driven messages coming through here. Cancer, the doula, um, seeing if there's anything else coming through with that card. Um, being supportive, connecting with a cancer. Wow. You know, the emperor is married. You know, this could be you dealing with your partner. Um, you know, for some of you, maybe you, you know, married somebody older. Okay. And you're finally committing to your relationship. You got engaged and now you're making that decision. Okay, am I, is getting married um, the best thing for me here? Okay. Knowing that you have to be in it for the long haul. Like this is a major commitment and I think you get it. And it's a, it's a you know, maybe you don't know if you want to get married. That's very possible as well. Or there's something that's holding up moving forward you know, based on your situation, if you want to really move down that road. I mean, I'll tell you this much. I would <laughs> if I was you. I mean, this looks very, very positive. Um, you know, I feel like you're already living together. You've already made that commitment. Um, but there's definitely some extenuating circumstances here. Um that is giving you a tough time in making this decision. So with the exchanging gifts, hmm, you have everything you need, you know, so maybe making some compromises here, you know, um, that you, you know, don't maybe want to do, but you know, that's what sometimes partnerships are, you know, you have to make certain sacrifices so far, you know, sometimes, um, like I was saying early, one hand washes the other, doing what you need to do. Let me see where my, let's read, I want to read the relationship part of exchanging gifts. Maybe there's a little diff, um, oh, here we go. All right, let's see. Maybe some additional insight that might come in here. 27, 27, exchanging gifts, the law of giving and receiving, weighing uh, costs and determining value. Okay. Okay. Relationship message. Love is an exchange of the life force and energy between two people. It grows exponentially when it's reciprocated. You must give and receive in order for love to flourish and abundance to flow between you. Spirit wants you to ex start accepting all the blessings waiting for you, as well as offer the same gift in return. Open your heart. I was saying that earlier. I was definitely feeling that. Open your heart and allow it to be filled. Let love in and let it flow out to you. Love is truly yours today. Whoa. Amazing. That is so beautiful. Um, and then since, since I have the book, let's look at the prosperity message for those of you that this is job related. All your hard work and efforts, your commitment to learning, creating, spending your time wisely pays off in ways you may not have been anticipating. The gifts of yourself, your time, your ideas, and the energy of your intentions are being reciprocated by the universe, which is sending you signs and signals, aligning synchronistic meetings and opportunities to bring you success and more. Mm -hmm. Everything is an exchange. Keep doing what you're doing. 
goodwill comes back tenfold. Totally amazing. So there you go, guys. This is your weekly reading. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it made sense to you. It's a little longer than usual. Oh, it's only 20 minutes. So um, yeah, all the best this week. We'll see you next week. If you're looking for a private reading, you can find my information in the description box below. God bless. Namaste. And we'll talk to you soon. All right, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.